What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning, well, some news concerning Jake Paul, Floyd, um, Money Mayweather. And I've seen it. I've seen the TMZ clip of Jake Paul running. I've seen Floyd was there, and Floyd was on one side, and Jake Paul was on the other. And then we had a random cat that was like, hey, you know, you want us to bust you up, you know, um, and then Jake started running and all that. First of all, I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe that happened that way. I think that was a, like a stage thing. Because for one, if Jake Paul, why would Jake Paul being by himself like that? I, I just don't see that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think if that was a real situation and he was by himself, which he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be by himself like that. He would have somebody, bodyguard, someone with him. But I think, and then Floyd, you know, him having those kind of guys bust you up. No, no, no. I, th I think what happened is that shit was staged. It was something that sparked interest, you know, had Jake Paul running or whatever. But let's say it did happen. Let's say that well, that was that was real. Well, they would have caught Jake Paul because he was too close to the entourage of people. He wouldn't have had the liberty to run like he did. Like if a mob of people want to catch you, they would have caught him and lynched him. You know what I mean? Like that, that's just not, it's just not realistic to me. I didn't really, uh, I didn't post anything. I didn't cover it because it was like, okay, he, he ran off. But then I, more I looked at it, I'm like, you know what? I remember the first, the, the you know, got your hat. You know what I mean? I, I remember that. But you seen it was a lot of people around. It was a lot of people around. And I think that was actually more authentic. I think this was one of those, hey, here's Jake Paul, come running up and then run off as though, you know, just make just to create some stuff and some buzz. Because you have to keep in mind this is after Floyd's uh ticket sales flopped in the UK. So he didn't do so well. You know, and all those guys are in bed with each other at this point. Because they are all influencers. Floyd's an ex-boxer. The Logan Pauls, they use boxing as a platform to promote their huge channel or their huge channel to, to promote that event so they can make money both ways. You know what I mean? So the money's going from one hand to the other, right? And they're bouncing around with all this money and creating it and generating it. And I think Floyd is right in the middle because he knows he's dealing with some young boys, 26, 27, 28 years old. So Floyd's just taking advantage. He's just there for the ride. So, you know, them doing that type of stuff, no. I don't see Jake Paul walking without his entourage, without his security, because, you know, if, when you got that type of money, the jewelry, you got to put all that together. Nobody's that dumb. Nobody's doing that these days. You know what I mean? Including Jake Paul. But I think it was a hoax. I think it was BS. But that's my counterpunch. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.